interesting person who made him run a lot a few years ago. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit about running and how important it is, is it in cricket? Well, I suppose from, from my perspective, um, I stood out as a, as a cricket player, definitely not as a batsman with a very average average, but what certainly, I suppose, made people stand up at notice was the agility that I had in the field and yes. the ability to go all day in the field. And, and I think that was important that fitness levels then weren't even considered. You yeah. know, it's become, it's become such a scientific process too. Uh, if you think about the apps and, and, and utilizing technology, but those days when you were chasing me around the field, it was pretty much there and back, there and back as fast Correct. as you could and, yeah. and making sure that your fitness levels were maintained to a degree where you could play at the top level for all, you know, the, entire, the entire game. Whereas now it's become very specific with regards to, or very scientific even, if you're a batsman, a bowler, or a wicket keeper even, you know, you've got a fitness trainer giving you those specific deals or, or, or jobs to do. Yeah. And, uh, and the greatest thing about running is that you can be anybody. And yeah. You can be any shape and size, and you can just get a pair of shoes on and, uh, and do it. Hit the road. Hit the so, road. Yeah. You know, uh, a, f a couple of years ago, it's exactly like what he said. You know, our fitness was we put two cones 20 meters apart and we sprinted 10 times and did 20 sets after every single practice session. Uh, I can vouch for what his work ethic was like back then. And, and I know how much powers you put in then. But can you tell us what is John T's personal training regime like right now? <laughs> Well, right now it's about changing nappies at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, yeah, that's quite a difficult thing. Probably the toughest job that I've ever had to do. And fortunately, <laughs> I'm kitted out for that very difficult task. But it's, you know, for, for me, it's also about mixing up sports. And, and I grew up in South Africa with a lot of open space, which yeah. you don't always get here in India, which is why running is such a, such a good option. Because you don't need a, a pair of cricket spikes or, or hockey, you know, hockey boots and a hockey stick. I think what I try and do is, is mix up as much as possible. So... In India, I do visit the gym. I spend a lot of time on the field of practice. I have sort of four or five guys, not even five, maybe three or four guys at a time, which is quite high intensity. But uh, in South Africa, at home, I get a mountain bike. I've got a surfboard. Um, I do have a pair of running shoes which sit there and cry and look at me and want me to take them out on the road a bit more often. But I like being outdoors, you know, so it's not difficult to, to get me out. But I do like to mix it up. And I think that's, as a fielding coach in, in India, it's always a concern for me is that people – when you play cricket, it's just about running forwards and backwards. You know, mm. football, badminton, um, you know, they're all those sort of games that I grew up playing hockey, yep. soccer. They all allowed me to feel the way that I did, you know, because it, it's sideways movement and it, it's, it's giving you agility and explosive power. And, you know, soccer players, one behind here, will show again that yep. it, it's not just about, sure, about running, running forward. Yeah. Yeah, super. You know, John T was uh, the person who taught me that uh, all those hours of practice is about preparing for an opportunity you don't know you're going to get. And that was one secret and one tip that I learned from him. So, and I've, I've kept that with me all these years. <laughs> Fantastic. Pay me later. Sure, <laughs> super. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and he's a multi-marathon runner himself, uh, Mr. Amit War, please welcome. Thanks. Super. Hi, Sharmila. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Very, very well. So today we're here talking running, and you normally on the golf course swing golf balls. And uh, can you tell us how do you incorporate running into your into your regime? Does it play an important part? It definitely does. Well, let me explain. Where golf as a sport is concerned, it doesn't require a high level of cardiovascular endurance. You know, it's more about um, explosive power between short intervals. So I really make it a point to do a lot of sprint interval training at least twice a week, wherever the globe I might be on, get it, go on a park golf course on the road. So um, I guess the more number of sprints you do, um, it, kind of, it kind of helps to increase that explosive part of it and helps to recover between shots as well. So I think it's very important for me. And uh, um, I guess uh, <laughs> Puma, I love, wearing the, I love wearing all the Puma outfits. And I just, it's great to, uh, to use all the shots and the stuff. I use it all over. Um, so for golf, yeah, it is. I feel like, um, well, uh, let me let me think about the no particular way. aspects I've, of it. I've, I've spent. Uh I've spent a little bit of time on, on the oh yeah? PGA Tour, and uh, when I was on there a few years ago, running wasn't really a very big thing. So are you yeah. seeing a, a bit of a, a trend changing on tour? Are you seeing that more girls are, are more active? Are you, are you seeing that they're taking running? or is it? Yeah, it does, actually. A lot more girls run a lot. But you, you don't need a lot of, you need a lot of short interval training, you know, to kind of get it into okay. the sport. 
And uh, it really helps me that way. And it's very important for everyone to maintain fitness and Absolutely. to be really good. Absolutely. Um, feel good about yourself while Fan running as well. So Fantastic, so fantastic. And sure. thank you very much for taking thank time you. off the, the tour and, and joining us right here. I can't wait to get to the race. <laughs> fantastic. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, uh,